welcome to Pet Living TV, where I show you how to live better with pets. Today we're exploring how pets can help us through one of life's toughest transitions when a marriage or relationship ends. Now very often divorce, even when it's amicable, has a negative impact on your health. But lucky for us, pets are a proven remedy for healing a broken heart. I sat down with a couple of ladies who told me their personal stories about how pets gave them inspiration and hope at a time when love was lost. They've helped make that transition so much easier too. Because we get out, we walk. Right, takes we, your mind off yeah, of things. There's activities to go to with your dog. You you meet so many more people when you have right. a dog. You know, it, it would be have been easy to lay in bed and not mm -hmm. get up or get out. But you have right. to when you have dogs because right. you have to take them out. <laughs> right. I think that's what, one of the um, kind of recurring themes I hear a lot mm -hmm. from people who share stories like you about how their dogs or cats help them through something. It's like this this element of consistency mm -hmm. that one thing stays the same while everything else seems to be changing. Did you find that to be the case? Yeah, yeah, it's very true. Very and, true. But I knew that my ex-husband was very attached to the dogs. Right. I knew my life was going to take me to Chicago. Mm -hmm. And I felt that it was more important to leave those two little girls with him um, and not uproot them out of the home they've always known. Sure. And it just broke my heart, mm -hmm. so I left them there. Mm -hmm. And in all the years that I would go back and visit them and love them, they'd be at the door just watching me oh. and crying. And it just, there was never a time I didn't get on the airplane. It was just crying. But right. I, I didn't have a dog in Chicago, so right. those were my dogless years, and they were tough. We could go to this pet store on Wells called Collar and Leash. Uh -huh. I needed to smell dogs. <laughs> <laughs> just, just be around dogs, you know. Mm -hmm. So we would go to lunch, and um, we would go upstairs, downstairs where the toys and the food and the beds, yeah. and we'd go upstairs, and I would go from cage to cage. <laughs> According to the American Heart Association, broken heart syndrome is an actual medical condition. It can be brought on by stressful experiences like divorce, and the symptoms can include irregular heartbeat and chest pain. Now, as you saw in Jackie's case, just the smell of pets can ease these symptoms. Also, regular outdoor activity with a pet can combat the other physical effects of divorce, like lowering your blood pressure and stress levels. I also wanted to share a heartfelt letter I received from Beth after her divorce. Not only did her pets provide affection to ease her sadness, but they also helped give her purpose again. You can read Beth's entire letter on my blog, but this is the part that really resonated with me. Most importantly, they let me hang on to my desire to be needed. I love to cook, but for a while there, I felt like there was no point. But yesterday, Bubba reminded me that I used to cook for my boys. If I made meatloaf, I would make extra for them. Now I shared these stories today because I truly believe that pets can pull us through heartbreak and keep us thinking positive, getting exercise, and maybe even help us find love again. Now if you aren't able to have a pet after a split like Jackie, why not volunteer at a shelter or a local pet rescue? Or maybe even offer to pet sit for a friend. A fuzzy buddy might be just the sidekick you need to knock the blues and gain a new outlook. As always, thank you for watching, and please share today's blog using the links below. You just might give a little inspiration and change someone's day. See you next time on Pet Living TV. Okay. Okay. Sure, sure. All right. How many treats did that take to keep her oh, yeah, here? I'm like, I'm covered. All right. <laughs> <laughs>